Hey and welcome to this video. In today's session I want to talk to you about testing BPMN processes. And that's quite of an important topic. So in the first section of this video I will show you why it's so important. I will elaborating on all the benefits which will be achieved by testing processes. Later on we'll then talk about how we can achieve a unit test or how we can implement unit tests for Kamuna Cloud and ZB. So stay tuned, we will start right away with the important discussion port. Okay, let's talk about testing processes and as said, that is pretty important. So we do have BPMN processes and to be honest with you, BPMN should be treated as code and yeah, it's technically code. So when we take a look on the VPMN representation, we do have XML. And this XML is composed by ourselves and is generated. So in the end, we do have code there and therefore we need to treat it as code. And of course, this involves testing. Testing is pretty important in that point. Um, and to elaborate on the important, we do have, or I do have listed three bullet points here. Um, starting off with the first one, um, about fully understanding the model. So when you write unit tests, you do need to be aware of what's happening at each step in the model. And this helps you to really understand it and to really gasp what the model wants to, to deal with, what the process is all about. And um, it helps also you as a developer to understand what's going on there and what you would expect to have after a certain step or activity within the process. Going further, we also can achieve smoother deployments, which is quite important. Imagining you do have an automated CI CD pipelines running some tests in there, which makes sure that the overall outcome of the process stays the same. So, having a new release of a version doesn't mean that you need to fear that your processes might have changed and everything is going to collapse after a new version of your process is released to your production environment. Um, down below, the third bullet point I've pointed out is that you can save a ton of time in terms of debugging and redeploying, um, especially when you consistently work and consistently improve your process model. That's quite of a um, good point where you can save a lot of time so you know what the process is all about you know what you are expecting and when one test fails you know why it has failed and you do not need to search in the history of the process execution in order to find some exception and faulty parameters and of course you then can um, right away get an action immediately at that point at that faulty part in the process without redeploying multiple times, only once, and then usually you would have your BPMN process already fixed. So these are my main three um, benefits of using um, unit tests in BPMN processes. And how you can achieve this or how you can implement a unit test with Kamunda Cloud or for Kamunda Cloud and ZB, I will show you later on. In order to get started, it's always beneficial to have opened up, opened up the Git repository of ZB process test. In here you can find once again all necessary information in order to get started swiftly. For instance, um, there are those prerequisites where we need to rely on Java 11 or higher and JUnit 5. You can find the dependency, so on and so forth. Having all this information, we can now generate a new Spring project. Of course, you can rely on plain Java as well. For the sake of simplicity, I just decided to go for Spring. Um, as mentioned, we need to go for Java 11 or higher. That's what we are doing here. And I'm just generating this kind of demo project for now. Having opened up this sample project, we can now take a look on the POM file. And right here, we need to add certain dependencies, such as the ZB process test dependency or the JUnit 5 dependency. And that's fairly easy to do. So maybe let's just add the JUnit extension here. As you can see, we are going to need the JUnit Jupyter API version 5.8.1 and of course also the JUnit engine. 
In addition to this, we are now going to include our ZB process test dependency as well. And therefore, um, we are going to use version 1.3.0 alpha 3. So it's still an alpha release, but it will be published um, sooner or later as 1.3.0. Great. Now all of our dependencies are added successfully to this project. So we can continue by writing a new test file. So let's call it simple process tests. Having created our test class right here, we can now add a dependency called ZB process test. And this dependency is simply responsible for creating and starting our in-memory ZB engine and is also necessary in order to yeah, prepare or deliver the engine in front of each test and to clean up afterwards. It also comes with three kind of injections. Um, one is our in-memory engine itself. The other one is the ZB client. And last but not least, we do have um, the so-called record stream source, which makes it possible to access all the records being processed by the engine. That's it. Um, next up, we can now create or start creating a test, for instance, for the deployment. So let's put it this way. We do have a test in here and let's call it Public, te public void test deployment. Cool. Before we can actually deploy something, we need to create a BPMN file within our yeah, class path. So let's do so first of all. For the sake of simplicity, I just created a very small, easy to understand process. So it starts with a typical start event. Then we do have service tasks, which does something. And in the end, we can then successfully end up our process instance. And that's what it's all about. And we are going to store this image or this XML file, BPMN file into the resource path of our, um, yeah, Java project we've just created. As you can see, we now have the test BPMN file right here in our resource package. And now we can test whether the deployment of our process succeeds or not. Therefore, let's add our, so to say, deployment event where we create a new deployment command by adding a resource from our code from our class path called test, not test process, BPMN, and then we send this request and um, join. Having done so, we can now make an assertion. So we do have, let's say, when this deployment happens, then we assert, we use the so-called deployment assert so we assert our assertions that do, 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 bp assert that deployment event and we can put our event in here so this simply tells when our deployment succeeds um, this assertion will deliver a successful um, execution of our J unit test. Cool, but that's not the only thing we can do with this um, ZB process test dependency. So there's also, for instance, the possibility to test whether a process instance has started off successfully, whether um, a job could be asserted, and whether an instance has finished successfully. And all this um, will be shown later on. So I will now enrich this file with all this information and then we step through it um, and elaborate on what each step does. 
As previously shown, we have written our test deployment method, but we haven't executed it yet. So let's do so. Um, so we can run this method right away and we can also see that the test succeeds. That's awesome. Um, taking a look into this log file, we can see way more stuff as well. Um, let's further go down and there we can see, yeah, um, also that ZB closed down successfully. Awesome. Um, besides, I've written a few additional methods, for instance, about testing the start of a process instance. Of course, we need to have given a deployment and therefore I've added a new method up here, um, creating a deployment. And then down below, we can now um, create a new instance and also get an event out of it. Um, and of course, we can then have the possibility to assert um, whether this event has started actually, and if it has passed a certain element within our process flow. Um, the next method, should show you how you can test a job assertion. So for instance, the service task, and therefore you need to have a started process instance and of course a given deployment. So I'm calling these two methods up here. And when we then run this activate job command, uh, we can then fetch jobs of the type service task. And in this case, we only do fetch one task. Having done so, we are now going to get the actual job and assert or complete our, our activity there. And this should go, of course, um, right away as well. Um, last but not least, which is the ideal step through of um, our process, um, we do have this test completion of an instance. And therefore we do need to have a deployment and we do need to have a started process instance. And of course, somewhere in time, there will be this active job waiting for us to pick it up and to execute this service task. And that's what we are going to do here. So we are completing it and then we are estimating or we are expecting that the instance, our process instance is actually complete. So when taking a look on the process model from previously, we can clearly see that nothing else um, needs to be done after having executed the service task. And we can just for the sake of um, simplicity at this thread of sleep. So nothing um, happens or this test cannot be too fast. And um, once it has left for 100 milliseconds, we'll then complete um, or check whether the instance is completed. Okay, so maybe mm, since this test about the completion of an instance is most, um, most compelling, let's run this and see whether the deployment, the start of the instant, instance and the um, job completion actually word out and we do have a finished or completed process instance. So let's run it. And of course, we are able to see that this test succeeds as well in two seconds and 100 second, 120 milliseconds. That's awesome. So now we have written our first tests using the ZB process test dependency. And of course, there are way more possibilities you can um, do or you can use this dependency for. So way more testing possibilities. This is just a little example to help you get started with it. If you want to check out this little guide, feel free to check out this GitHub repository. I will link it down in the description below. And there you can find all the various methods we have talked about in our Demulo application test class and you can also find the process diagram we have talked about in today's session. Cool. Now we are done for today. So you should have learned why process testing is quite important. And you also now are aware of ZB process tests, which should make you capable of writing unit tests 
for your processes right away. So give it a try and comment if you do have any questions about this dependency or this project, or if you want to contribute, or in case you want to see videos about something else in the Kamunda ecosystem. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.